Hi, I'm Greg at Vanguard Motor Sales. Man, I got a cool truck here today. It's a 1940 Ford. She's got a 350 under the hood. Everything on this truck's customized. She's like a refined rat rod. She is amazing. Six inch chop on the roof. The hood's all chopped and shaved. You're gonna love all the tin work on it. It's just an amazing ride, guys. And she's sitting on air, so you can slam it down on the ground. Hey, if you want to check out about 100 pictures of her, go to our website at vanguardmotorsales.com. We'll get it up on the lift so you can check out the underside. We're going to pop the hood, take a look at that 350. We're going to look at that custom interior. We're going to show you everything you need to see so you can make a great decision on your rat rod pickup truck investment. So come on up and we'll fire it up. So look at this cool truck, man. Slam down on the ground, that hood shaved, and check out the tin work under here. Somebody did some amazing work on this baby. Look at all that. Just beautiful inner fenders, the nose up here. The motor looks like it belongs in there. Just a sweet ride here, guys. Now look down the side of it. I tell you what, they did a beautiful job. Now this is a satin clear on here, so this isn't just bare primer. You don't have to worry about it getting rained on. She can take a little rain. That satin uh, clear will take care of it. We've got a nice mat in here. Take a look at that carpeting. We'll take a nice close look at the interior here in a minute. The doors operate nice. The bed looks great. They've got a bed liner material in there. At the fuel cell there where it's easy to get at. Just a beautiful truck. That tailgate looks original to the truck. It's in great shape. Just beautiful ride here, guys. Check out that door jam. Beautiful. Now at Vanguard Motor Sales, we're not consignment dealers. That means we own all of our inventory here at Vanguard. We've got about 210 cars in stock right now and we own each and every one of them. We're the largest dealership in the United States that owns all of their classics. Now let's take a look at this interior. Check this beauty out. Man, she looks like an airplane. Look at all that tin work there. And that's got clear on it too. Great looking handles, great looking carpeting. We got the tall low car shifter in there. Look at that dash. All of it, just off the hook. Very, very well done. Just a beautiful ride. Great looking seats. Headliners done. All the paintwork in here looks great. We even got cup holders in there, guys. She is drop dead gorgeous. Let's take the 40 Ford for a ride. Man, this is one cool rat truck. Man, I love it. She's driving great. She's on bags, so when you get to the show, you can slam her down on the ground. Just driving awesome here. Now at Vanguard Motor Sales, we're shipping experts. We can ship this truck anywhere in the world. You just give us a call at 248-974-9513. Now Tom will tell you just how easy it is to park this stream in your drive. So give us a buzz. He'll tell you all about this beautiful 40 Ford. Got a pretty good bump here. It's got a great exhaust system on it. Sounds awesome. It's got the dash in it out of a 53 Ford is what they tell me. We got all the gauges we need right here. These are all aftermarket gauges. Everything's working there. We got horn. We actually got a windshield wiper here. So the states that need windshield wipers all set up. We've got our signal stat uh, turn signals here. 
Now at Vanguard Motor Sales, we're right outside of uh, Ann Arbor, Michigan. Matter of fact, we're only 20 minutes from the airport, so if you'd like to come check this beauty out, give us a call at 248-974-9513. We'll even come down to the airport and pick you up. Also, if you see something on the truck that you'd like a little different, feel free to call Tom, ask him about it. We've got mechanics on staff. We can take care of just about anything that you'd like. She's got great acceleration. There's a four barrel sitting on top there. It's got turbo 400 trans, it's shifting nice. Just drive this truck anywhere, guys. Look at that, straight down the street, no problem whatsoever. The brakes feel good too, and the brakes are stopping me nice and straight with no hands on the wheel. Now we're coming up on our shop here. Now we sell about 90%, or actually about 95% of our cars sight unseen, but boy do we love to have visitors come out. We've got 205 cars in stock, and we love to show them. Here's our shop right here. We're at 15100 Keel Street in Plymouth, Michigan. Now you gotta stick around because we're gonna put this baby up in the air so you can see just how cool the bottom side is. And you can bet we're gonna pop the hood and take a look at the power under the hood. All right, this is the underside of our rat rod pickup truck, or I should say hot, traditional hot rod. Some people get offended when you say rat rod. Um, this thing is, of course, highly customized and uh, it's gonna take me a second to move all the way from the uh, back to the front, but this is really where the magic of this truck is because there's a lot of custom stuff to cover down here. Um, of course, here is a four to eight inch rear end. Um, I'm really proud of these brake lines. I actually made these myself. Um, of course, you know, and it was pretty much meant so that uh, everything wouldn't hit and everything, you know, was uh, played nice together. So we've got all this stuff going on back here. Um, outside of all this, uh, nothing else I did back here. We've got um, shocks on this thing. Looks like they're brand new shocks on it. And I actually uh, tip my hat to the guy that uh, put shocks on the airbag trucks. A lot of people get lazy and don't do it. So I'm glad that he did. Um, the truck rides better for it. We got drum brakes on either side of this 48 inch. Um, the gear ratio that's housed inside of here is about a, a 280 to one. And uh, you do have a three speed transmission, which is a non overdrive transmission, but with the 280 to one, um, that still gets you in the freewayable range. You can still drive this thing um, at, at normal uh, modern day speeds and not have to worry about overtaxing the small block Chevy. Um, exhaust, of course, looks good uh, from this point on and you know this point forward. You do have, uh, looks like a glass pack style mufflers in the thing. Another look at the, the brake line job over here, you can see it's all um, done up out of the way. You can see we've got a brand new whip hose on, or not brand new, but a uh, it's still in good shape whip hose, of course. You know, it looks like it's seen a couple of, couple of years worth of action. You can see here we've got a fuel cell over here. Um, I've always been a big fan of these. We've got AN fittings going uh, east and west here. This is actually just a plug, so I suppose just east. Um, you can see that the uh, mounting, they made a pretty nice little uh, mounting thing for it here, where like a cradle that it sits in. And the framework on this truck is pretty nice. As you can see here, there's a lot of stuff that's boxed in. Um, this truck, uh, from what I can tell, it looks like it's pretty strong, I would imagine. Um, you've got uh, also two big air tanks here. This thing does have air ride. Your air ride um, bags are right there. You got your two tanks here. You got the compressors over here. You've got uh, all of your solenoids and stuff like that is all up over here. Moving forward of all that stuff, they did notch uh, a big notch here for the drive shaft. It looks like they've extended it a little bit because, as you know, this thing will sit right on the ground. And uh, especially, I don't know if you've seen our pictures of it with it sitting on the ground, the rear end of this thing just looks sinister with the way that those fenders are sticking out. This is one of my, by far one of my favorite vehicles that we've got here just because of the way it looks when it sits. Um, you can see here the exhaust is continuing to look good. We do got a kill switch here too. Um, this actually, you know, inside the truck, you can flip this and uh, the truck won't start, the truck doesn't have power and uh, no one will be able to get in it um, or at least get away with it uh, without some serious uh, homework. So that's also a nice safety feature um, and it's also just, you know, if you're gonna store it for a while, it actually kind of protects your battery a little bit. Uh, moving forward of that, exhaust continuing to look good. We got brake lines over here. We got, looks like transmission and battery cable stuff over here. Turbo uh, 700 R4, or I'm sorry, excuse me, not 700 R4, turbo 400, I'm sorry. Uh, Three-speed automatic transmission. Uh, the year on this is a 1974. Um, it looks pretty fresh for a 74, so I would imagine it's been rebuilt. Um, it ships as if it's been rebuilt. It doesn't seem like it's uh, soft like uh, you know they would get when they were worn out. So um, that's our transmission here. And like I said, non-overdrive transmission, but that with the rear end that's uh, in this car, it shouldn't be much of a problem for you. Uh, front end on this looks like we got a couple of new front end components on here. It looks like these inner tie rods were replaced and the outer tie rods were replaced. Um, along uh, adjuster sleeves probably look to be relatively older. Um, you can see that the, I mean, 
you can give everything a shake. You can tell if your idle or arm is bad. All of it seems pretty tight, and I'm seeing, uh, let's see here, Federal Mogul parts and Moog parts. So that's all pretty high quality stuff that they use, not the uh, economy stuff. Um, let me see here. Shocks on the front are right here, actually. They had to do some, uh, some interesting mounting on this. So the shock does not sit, because I believe this to be a Chevelle front end, if I'm not mistaken, or Chevelle, Chevelle Camaro, something like that. You can see right here, this is where your shocks would normally go, but because the bags are here, they had to move them back, and the shocks are actually uh, mounted on the outside of it. Um, let me see here. Outside of that, it um, looks like, yep, this is a Chevelle uh, front end here. We do have uh, disc brakes on either end of it here. It looks like everything, of course, the drum brakes, if I didn't mention it, we always take those apart, and we make sure that everything is safe inside of those and assembled correctly. Um, basically, we don't... We don't take any stops with brakes at any time, <laughs> no pun intended. We don't, uh, you know, the buck stops here with brakes. We fix everything that we find with brakes. If it's even remotely a safety issue, it gets repaired. Um, let me see here. All the bushings look like they're in good shape. Like I said, we got disc brakes. Um, outside of that, it's a pretty, pretty highly customized truck. Um, I guess from this point, we're going to go get to wheels and tires, and I can tell you about the 350 under the hood. 165. Uh, 80 R15, which is kind of a skinny little tire, but um, of course this thing, it needs it to tuck it up way up in there, so that's, uh, they've accomplished that with this tire. Um, I do like the, uh, the rather plain kind of old school wheels on this, and I actually kind of wanted these hubcaps on uh, two or three of my cars that I own. I, I really like these. I've always been a fan of them. Very old school, very 40s, um, and the uh, wheel color matches the truck very well. Let's go check out the rear. All right, back here we got 21570 R15, so a little bit bigger back here. Of course, you don't have to have the steering up here, which is why you can uh, fit a little bit of a bigger tire up here. But when this thing sits down, you, this black, the black wall up here just about disappears up in that fender well. It's actually pretty cool looking. Um, and outside of that, you do have the same uh, good looking uh, hubcap and trim ring, of course, with the same good looking uh, wheel on it um, overall. And of course, radial tires, both uh, front and back. I like it quite a bit. Let's go check out the uh, small block Chevy. Okay guys, for an engine, it does have a small block Chevy underneath the hood. Um, this is a 39710 block, which tells me it's probably 69 to um, 1979, more than likely a 350. Um, outside of that, we do have an Edelbrock 600 CFM carburetor sitting on top of the Edelbrock dual plane intake manifold. And uh, we do have, it looks like, nice stainless lines, both fuel and uh, vacuum lines going to it. Looks like a mechanical uh, temperature gauge on it. Uh, it does have serpentine belt, at least for your alternator and... Uh, yeah, alternator and part of your uh, water pump. It's almost, this is weird. I've never seen one of these before. Um, it's like a, uh, like a hybrid belt system where you have a serpentine here, then you have V-belt on the other side. Very interesting. I've never actually seen one of those before. Um, and I also like to point out some of the metal work while I'm under here. Um, that's something that a lot of old traditional hot rod guys, they love to see this kind of pretty metal work, uh, especially you know, all this brush stuff. I believe this is brushed and then it's cleared over to keep it um, looking nice like this. And the same thing with all of your fender wells. Um, all that stuff has got the same thing going for it. Um, outside of that, you can see that uh, all of like your firewall and all that stuff is beautiful. You can see, like, I like how they actually have the wires run nice and neat. That's something that I'm always about is just cleanliness and neatness. And this thing has got all of that. I can see that it looks like the, um, I believe that to be either the high or low pressure uh, power steering line over there. That's all uh, uh, braided stainless, if I'm not mistaken. That's all nice stuff. Um, a lot of things in here that I like to see. It's a pretty clean built truck. And um, definitely, when you, when you set this thing on the ground, uh, that was just the hood prop, don't want to no freak out, um, or the uh, hood latch that made that noise. But when you set this thing on the ground, this thing is uh, pretty sweet. And especially here, you can take a look underneath the hood. You can see that it's not all you know, hit and hammered. It's actually, you know, it's all painted body color underneath here. Um, so pretty much, that's, that's to me, is what this truck is really about. It's, traditional, it's a traditional hot rod truck at its finest. And I love the grill on this thing. Um, I, and of course, this is really cool too, really traditional pinstriping here, all really nice stuff. So if you guys like to have this thing lay in frame in your driveway, make sure to call Tom with the number below and let Vanguard Motor Sales park this thing in your driveway.